welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 3.48 and it states that referring to exercise 3.39 find part a f of y given to for all values of y and b probability of y equal to 0 given that x is equal to 2 okay so first of all let me see that word is problem 3.39 and this is the exercise problem 3.39 and the statement of it is given here and from it we can very clearly see that the oranges here are basically corresponds with x and apples here are basically what y okay these are also given here if x is the number of oranges and y is the number of apples so in the sample find the joint probability distribution of x and y and previously we have found out that the joint probability distribution of x and y is given as what that was 3 choose x okay 2 choice y okay and also 3 4 minus x minus y okay divided by the 8 choice 4 okay this was basically what this was basically the equation for the joint probability distribution of x and y so on the basis of it let me solve this one and in solving it let me have it here and to find the probability of y given to or y given x that would be what by using the conditional probability we can have here f of 2 and y divided by the probability of x equal to 2 okay so on the basis of it we can find it here and then we can find the f y given to for different values of y and the values of y are basically what these are 2 okay so all values for it would be 0 1 2 which means 0 apples 1 apple and two apples okay so let me find out different values here and the first value which is g of 2 how can we find it out here it can be found out by f of 2 0 okay or f of 2 1 or f of 2 2 okay we can very easily find it out by putting these values over here okay we can see that this is basically the value of x y this is the value of y okay similarly this is x this is y and so on so let me put all these values here and putting them here i can find out here for the f of 2 0 what would we get here it would be 3 2 okay 2 0 and also here 3 and 4 minus x is 2 minus 0 so here 2 divided by what divided by 8 choice 4 okay so here finding it out what will we get it will be 9 by 70 okay so let me put it here it will be 9 by 70 similarly f21 putting values here in this formula as well what will i get i will get 18 by 70 and also putting 2 2 here what will be the answer here it would be 3 by 70 okay you can try it and ultimately you will get what it would be 30 by 70 which is 3 by 7 so the value of g of 2 is 3 by 7 here using this equation let me call it equation a and using equation a what i will get here putting this 3 by 7 over here i will get f y2 is equal to f of 2y multiplied by 7 by 3 okay so these are all the values which we had to find out now i have told you previously that the values of y basically ranges from 0 to 2 so let me put here the value of y equal to 0 given to so putting it here i will get f 2 0 multiplied by 7 by 3 and it would be what this is basically given here and putting 9 by 
70 here which I have already found out by putting values here so it will be 9 by 70 multiplied by 7 by 3 so it will be 7 10 3 3 okay so it would be 3 by 10 okay so f of 0 2 is 3 by 10 this is what we had to find out let me move down somehow okay similarly here f of 1 given to that would be the value of y is equal to 1 when given that the value of x is equal to 2 so it would be 2 1 multiplied by 7 by 3 so it would be 1 it would so it would be what as we have seen that it is here so 18 divided by 70 multiplied by 7 by 3 okay 3 6 and 7 10 okay so i will get here 3 by 5 and that is for f 1 2 and also f 2 2 is f 2 2 multiplied by 7 by 3 so its value is also given that is 3 by 70 so 3 by 70 multiplied by 7 by 3 these two will cancel out while here i will get 1 by 10 okay so these are different values which are given okay so in tabular form which can also be tabulated here so here if i have different values of y and here we have f of y given to so what i can do here is that let me have here the table in which the different values of y are 0 1 2 okay and also let me have here this table and putting values here what i will add for 0 i got 3 by 10 it was 3 by 10 for 1 it was 3 by 5 and for 2 it was 1 by 10 okay so this was what this was the solution of part a of our question now moving towards the part b of our question find the probability of y equal to 0 given x equal to 2 this is also similar to f of 0 given to okay so f of 0 given to let me see that whether i had found it out or not okay this is already given here and this is here so the probability that y is equal to 0 given that x is equal to 2 this is also the joint density such that y is equal to 0 given that x is equal to 2 okay that is already known and this is here we had already found it out and this was 3 by 10 which is what which is the solution of part b of our question so that's it for today and we can see that this was part b of our question and we have seen the solution of part a and part b of our question 3.48 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon